Hello everyone. I have just this second decided to go and ride my horse who's not been ridden for two months and I feel a bit disorganized. I don't know where anything is. Like, I don't even know what clothing to wear to ride a horse anymore. It's been two months. I just want to find a gilet or something to put over this because it is really sunny now, which is why I've decided to go and get on him. But I don't trust the weather and I don't want to be cold. So that will do. Sorry for that rather disorganized intro. Hello, I'm Jennifer, welcome back. You may remember me from my other videos. I'm gonna ride a horse today, very exciting. So McAllister has had, it will be eight weeks tomorrow since I last rode him, which was our last day's hunting. And it's been on my mind that, okay, he's probably had enough time off now. I really ought to be getting back on him. But that being said, I've also had a really rubbish few weeks with like injured horses and whatnot. And then the weather's been really bad. So I kind of said I might ride him today if it's sunny. And up until about the last 15 minutes, it's been gray, miserable, like threatening to rain. And then all of a sudden, the sun just emerged from behind the clouds. And now we're gonna go. We're gonna get on him. Everyone's excited. Let's go boys. yawning. Are we all having a bit of a snooze? Is this a bad time? Shall I come back? Also, shout out to me for this tap room. How good does that look? Like, I did so well. such a lovely boy. He's so cuddly. Aren't you? I think you've missed doing a job. Haven't you? You missed getting full on attention. Oh, good boy. I can't tell you how happy I am to be getting back on. Like I'm in such a good mood. The sun's shining. We're getting back on a horse after a two month break. Life is good. Life is really good at the moment. Touch what I shouldn't have bloody said that. Something's gonna go wrong. Something always goes wrong. Doesn't it? To be fair to Cal, and I absolutely should not say this because it is the ultimate curse, but to be fair to Callie, he never really has any problems. I think since I've had him, he's probably had like 
a few abscesses and they're never even bad it's just like three or four days of poulticing you're done so I do appreciate you so much you're such a nice boy right saddle <laughs> knockoff shuffle this is not even a real one everything has taken me so long today like grooming tacking up taking probably three times longer than it would normally because i just feel like a complete novice like i don't know what i'm doing i don't even know what to do with my hair like we're very very rusty at this nowadays it's been so long like i kind of didn't let myself picture or even imagine getting back on a horse just because I've had so much bad luck and I just felt like this was my life now having a paddock full of horses none of which I can ride so you know we've not actually traveled to this point in our brains but um yeah all we're gonna do is just go for a very gentle hack let's go get on get over how much of a superstar this boy is literally eight weeks off i've been on him about 20 minutes half an hour maybe i've taken him into an enormous enormous open field which is stopping for a snack whilst my mind is not on riding and um we've had a little canter otis is running around like a maniac and um not a single buck not a single buck like he feels quite fresh like He's riding like a dressage horse. He's very like up in his paces. And it's just a bit rude actually that I've schooled him for so long to try and get him to be a bit more like that. And then you just chuck him in a field for two weeks after doing it for two weeks, for two months after a season's hunting. And he comes in, I'm not gonna say he's like Vallegro, but as I'm not a dressage rider, it might as well be like, you know? He's just, this horse, honestly. Oh my God, look at my dog. You have a nice time there, Otis. Food. 